It is one of Southeast Asia's fastest growing companies. So should you buy C Limited or should you sell the stock? In this C Limited stock analysis video, I'll be first sharing with you my fundamental analysis of C Limited as a company and then take a look at its technicals. Before we begin, if you're new to this channel, my name is Linus and in this channel, I share all things related to the stock market, so both investing and trading. If you want more videos such as this on stock analysis, make sure you subscribe to my channel because each week I release two new videos about investing, trading and the stock market. Alright, so let's begin by taking a look at some of the fundamentals for C Limited. So let's take a look at this dashboard over here. So over here, we have C Limited's most recent quarters for sales and earnings per share. And we'll take a look at sales first. So we go to the first quarter over here, which is November 2020. So for this quarter, C Limited's sales was 1.21 billion. And you can see that it has increased year over year and quarter over quarter as indicated by these two green buttons. And we take a look at the subsequent quarters. So March 2021, May 2021, August 2021, and November 2021, we see that sales for C Limited has been increasing throughout the quarter. So 1.21 billion all the way to 2.69 billion. So sales for C Limited has not only increased quarter over quarter, but it has also increased year over year throughout this most recent five quarters. So sales and revenue for C Limited has been pretty good. But we take a look at earnings per share. Earnings per share hasn't been very well for C Limited. For earnings per share, earnings per share has been generally declining over the quarters. And we can see that from the negative figure of the earnings per share, C Limited as a company hasn't been making any profit just yet. In a good economic and stock market environment, this is nothing much to worry about. However, right now, the stock market environment is a bit more volatile as there are inflation risks. And typically in a high inflation environment, companies with no profit or negative profits tend to be affected quite severely. And this is what we are seeing for C Limited right now. So if we take a look at the price action for C Limited recently, we see that C Limited has declined quite substantially from its all-time highs over here. So if we take our two over here, we see that from the all-time high over here to where the stock price is currently at, C Limited has declined by almost 54%. And this huge decline took place only in two to three months. So this is definitely something to worry about for C Limited, at least in the price action. Furthermore, if we remove these two over here, we zoom out and see, we see that recently at the right side of the chart over here, there's a change in character for C Limited stock. So what do I mean by change of character? To observe the change in character of a stock, we take a look at the left side of the chart versus the right side of the chart. From this point onwards towards the right, this part will be considered the right side of the chart. And then the left side of the chart will be anything to the left of this point over here. So the first change in character for C Limited stock is in terms of its moving average. So if you take a look at the left side of the chart, you notice that for most of the time, C Limited was above its 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average. So the 50-day moving average is this red line over here and the 200-day moving average is this black line over here. So you notice that the stock price of C Limited on the left side of the chart has generally been above both the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average. In fact, if you take a look at the left side of the chart, C Limited has generally respected the 50-day moving average. This means that for the most part, prices of C Limited stock has been above the 50-day moving average. And whenever it comes to the 50-day moving average, the 50-day moving average acts as a support and prices find support there and bounce back up. So an example will be over here, over here, and one previously over here. So notice how as prices of C Limited decline, whenever it reach the 50-day moving average, it will find support there and bounce back up. So for the most part, C Limited has respected the 50-day moving average. The exception being over here. But this was an exception because this was where prices were consolidating. And when prices are consolidating or moving sideways, prices tend to fluctuate above and below the moving averages. But you see that once prices broke above that consolidation, prices start to respect the 50-day moving average again. So this was where prices start to break above the consolidation. And if we take a look over here, this was also back where prices start to respect the 50-day moving average again. So over here, you can see that prices are again finding support at the 50-day moving average. Over here also another time. And over here, over here, and over here. But once you reach this point over here, we can see that there was a change in character for C Limited stock. So from this point onwards and to the right of this chart, you see that prices are no longer finding support at the 50-day moving average. In fact, prices broke below the 50-day moving average over here and it never got back above the 50-day moving average so far. And then you'll see that after a few trading sessions later, prices not only broke below the 50-day moving average, it also broke below the 200-day moving average. So that's a major warning sign and also a major change in character for C Limited stock. And I forgot to include one more point over here. At this point over here, the 200-day moving average wasn't the only support for prices. If you take a look over here, this was also a key price area that provided resistance and support for C Limited stock previously. So if we take a look at the left side of the chart, you'll notice that this is the first resistance, second resistance, third resistance, and fourth resistance over here. And then once prices broke above the resistance, the resistance became support and prices found support over here, and then it starts to break above here and move up from there. 
By this point over here, you see that not only did prices not manage to find support at both the 200 day moving average and this key price area over here, it broke below the two support levels. So that's a major, major warning sign over at this point over here. So if you own C Limited stock and you did not manage to get out over here, this was the latest point in time where you should have gotten out of C Limited stock. The second change in character for C Limited stock was volume. So if you take a look at the right side of the chart starting from this point over here, you'll notice that volume starts to pick up on the downside. So what I mean is by taking a look at the red days or the bearish days. So on the red candlestick days, you'll notice that volume starts to pick up. So when prices fall and form a bearish candlestick, the volume on those days were above average. So you take a look at examples over here, you notice that for this day and this day, volume was above average. And then you take a look at another day over here. So on this candlestick, you see that it was also a bearish candlestick day and prices declined and it also declined on above average volume. And then you had another one over here where prices get down over here and it also did so on one of the largest volume in recent times. So if you zoom out over here, for the past one year or so, this was one of the largest volume and it took place on a bearish candlestick day and on a gap down. So that was a very big and obvious warning sign to investors of C Limited. So that was for the right side of the chart. If we take a look at the left of the chart, generally you don't see above average volume on red days or down days. So that's the second change in character for C Limited stock between the right side and the left side of the chart. So should you buy or sell C Limited stock? Well, if I had to choose between longing the stock or shorting the stock, I would choose shorting the stock because of all the violations that I just shared with you. But again, my investing and trading style in the stock market might be different from yours. So based on my own investing and trading style, I would short the stock rather than buy it. And this is also not meant to be construed as financial advice. Before you make any investments or trades, make sure you do your own due diligence. So moving forward, what are the key price levels that I'm taking a look out for for C Limited stock? An obvious key price level would be this area over here, which is around $206. If prices rally and manage to break above this price level of $206 and then finding support back there, then I would see further upside for C Limited moving forward. However, as you can see recently, price managed to rally back up into that price level, but then it found resistance and declined subsequently after that. So this price level of around $206 is definitely a key price level to take a look out for. For further downside movement, I want to see prices breaking below this price level of around $168. Because you can see over here, when prices reach this price level of around $168, buyers start to step in and push prices all the way up and manage to close prices at this intraday high at this candlestick over here. So this tells us at this price level of around $168, there are a lot of buyers and buying pressure at this area. So for prices to continue to decline, I see prices breaking below this level. So this is my stock analysis for C Limited. Hopefully you have enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you did, smash the like button because it really helped the channel grow and allow me to produce more content such as this. And if you want more weekly stock ideas and tips, make sure you join my Facebook and Telegram groups where I share weekly updates on the stock market and also share my weekly stock ideas and tips over there. I included links to the group in the description below. I'll see you in the other videos to your financial success.